So let's go for a quick overview of invoices, which are one of our most popular features um, and one that's it's uh, really, I think, quite built out on Bonsai and a, a great help to many freelancers. Um, like all of our products, invoices are deeply integrated with everything else. So let's say that you create a proposal or a, a contract. Once that's been accepted by the client, you have the option to automatically create all the invoices with all the details that you want um, and even send them as well. Um, if you're tracking time on Bonsai, if you're tracking expenses with Bonsai, um, those that information, the time that you've tracked, the tasks that you've tracked, your expenses can be added um, and kind of integrated natively with the invoices as well. So again, a very powerful tool um, that really helps you, um, you know, save time and, and get paid on time as well. But let's go through the process of creating an invoice. So I'm here, my invoices tab, which you click, uh, you get to from clicking invoices on the left here. It shows a list of all the invoices that I sent, invoices that are drafted, um, the status, which client, um, which client those invoices is for, um, and I can filter, you know, filter those as well. Also, at any time, I can search um, my invoices as well. But let's go ahead and create a new invoice. I'm going to select just a test client here um, and my old test project. Now, there are a couple different uh, types of invoices that we have. And again, this is another very powerful feature of Bonsai. I can create just a single one-off invoice. Um, I can also create a recurring invoice, which means that every week or every two weeks or every month, um, the invoice is, is manually created and even sent to the client. Um, and then the last type of invoice is similar to a recurring invoice, except it's a recurring auto payment invoice, which means that the client will um, enter uh, and save their payment information, their credit card information in Bonsai, and we will um, manually bill them on your behalf, create the invoice, send it to them and manually bill them. So it's kind of like a, a subscription. Um, you can set a date that it stops. But let's go ahead and just start with the most basic time, uh, a kind of invoice, a one-time recurring, we'll go ahead, or sorry, a one-time invoice. Go ahead and create that. So this is what um, a newly created invoice looks like. My, my banner here and my logo have been imported automatically from my profile, but you can change those on, on a per invoice basis and you can change that anytime in settings. You also have the invoice number up here, which if I click, I can I can edit that and let's make that you know invoice um, invoice a thousand. Um, and everything you're changing here is automatically saving, so you don't have to worry about saving the invoice live or anything like that. Um, my information here and my client's information is imported automatically from my profile and the client's profile in my uh, client CRM. So again, you don't have to double check, make sure you get everything right. It's all filled in for you automatically. Um, you have the issued on date and the due on date, which by default we set to be um, a certain number of days after the invoice was created, but you can click and change that um, to be anything that you'd like. And then you have the, um, the actual line items in the invoice here. So um, if you had been tracking your time on Bonsai or if you had expenses and you uh, build those expenses or build that time, those would be pre-filled here. But for right now, let's just manually enter, um, let's say a new website, uh, the number of units, I built one new website for $1,000, and let's say new mobile app, did, did one of those for, it's called $1,500. So again, these, these line items here are um, being created um, automatically. The total is being created automatically. It calculates the tax as well. This is something that I set by default in my settings, but I can, I can click here and edit it. Let's say this client has been a great client, so I'm gonna give them you know, a $200 discount. Um, and all this information here is is um, is updated. The totals are updated automatically. I can even change the um, I can change the currencies as well. So let's say uh, we support quite a few currencies, but let's say I just want to change it to um, you know euros, for example. Um, I can go ahead and do that. And even the currency symbols will, will update um, automatically. So you can have certain clients that are in one currency and other clients that are in a different one. For specific clients and specific projects, you can even have um, one currency um, in one invoice and, and another invoice in another currency. You can then go ahead and choose um, how you're going to be paid by the client. So um, you can either, you can do that by clicking these options down here. Client will pay via mail check. Um, right now we support credit and debit card by, um, by Stripe. Um, we also support PayPal, uh, bank transfer or ACH by Stripe, um, Bitcoin by Coinbase, and then wire transfer and mail check where you'll manually enter um, your bank details and the client will pay you. 
And you can customize these again on a per invoice basis or on a per client basis. So maybe one client you only want to have pay you by credit card and another one you want to pay you by the bank transfer. Um, you can easily customize that um, by clicking this link down here. And then if they're paying you online, and they're paying you through Bonsai, so if that's through Stripe or through PayPal, um, we can actually set um, whether they pay the fee for the, the, the credit card processing or you pay the fee. And one important thing about getting paid <clears throat> online here uh, on credit card, PayPal, um, or uh, or bank transfers, Bonsai actually doesn't make any money on this. Um, the 2.9% fee is set by Stripe. PayPal charges their own fees. There's a, there's a $5 fee for bank transfers on, on um with Stripe as well. So again, we don't set that. We don't make any money on that. That's just what they charge us to process those payments. So you're getting the same price as if you were to use those services directly. Um, another very cool feature here is um, late fees. So you can actually set, because we know up here that this is due on February 20th, um, we can actually set a late fee and automatically apply that late fee to the invoice. So the client starts um, getting charged a late fee if they haven't paid on time. So again, another great example of how Bonsai automates this, um, automates the process of getting paid. Uh, you can add a tax ID number down here and you can add some notes. Um, you know, thanks for your business, um, as well as attach files here as well. Um, now you can go ahead and, and send, you know, send that invoice. Um, right now you can also do things like, um, let's say you got paid outside of Bonsai. You can manually mark it as paid to say how they paid you. Maybe they paid you in cash. You can set the date that they paid you and um, choose whether to email them to confirm that it was paid or, or not email them. Um, you can also view the client's version of the invoice. Um, so see what they see. Um, and then you can download a PDF version of it as well. So that's the, um, again, that's the, uh, that is what the invoice looks like. Um, there are a lot of, again, a lot of different versions of it. You can create this recurring invoice. You can add expenses to it. You can add your time tracking. But just uh, I recommend getting into Bonsai now and creating a test invoice, sending it to yourself, sending it to a friend, just playing around with it and getting a sense for, for how it works. And uh, as always, we love feedback. So if you have any questions or if you'd like to see some changes to the invoice, um, feel free to use this chat widget on the bottom right here at any time to let us know. Thanks so much.